haven't really done a tour of my camper. Um, I'll just do a really quick one. This is the outside of my 2018 Sunray 149. The tires on this one is underneath. Uh, the wheel wells inside. Um, on the newer ones, I've noticed that the tires are on the outside. Gives you a little bit more room inside, I guess. So let's go inside. I just have this mat down here temporarily because I've been in and out. So you come in to the right, there's a dinette. The previous owners did put covers over it, but the original vinyl's on underneath. So to the right is the dinette. I put a lagoon table in here versus the the big table with the two poles. Uh, on one camping trip, I was going down a very bumpy road, and the poles, the pole, the pole bases both broke. So I pulled them up. I left the the uh, screws down um, but here's the lagoon table I'll show you so you can have it like that or you can move it completely out of your way like that if you want to sit over there or you can have it like this. And it's just mounted there to the side. I have some support wood on the other side and I had to cut out a notch to make it fit a little flush. It still is a little, leans a little bit to the left, but I think that's good enough. So this side does turn into a bed also, a little twin. And underneath here, I have the slats right there that you can set in. So while we're in here, underneath there is the hot water heater. It's gas. Right there is my inverter that I just installed, and I'll do another video on that. And then just a little cooler because there's a lot of storage under here. Under this side is the heater. Um, so I really don't put anything in here since the heater's in here, but there is a little bit of room back here if you wanted to put something that was, but you'd have to take it out when you turn the heater on. I live in Florida, so not much of that. I did install this. I bought this, um, I got this uh, door from, from uh, Sunset. It's my other door broke, but I ended up putting it here instead. Hi guys. And, um, but here I, I used to put my shoes and uh, the doggy blanket. And if I do turn the heat on, I'll just pull that out. Okay. So then come around here is the bathroom. So there's the door going into the bathroom. There's the air conditioner to the left. And right here is the heater control. And this is the hot water heater. You just turn it on and, it, and the gas kicks on. Here's the refrigerator. It is gas and electric. So since I am, since I am plugged in at home, I have it on gas. Um, I have it plugged in now because I'm getting ready to go camping this weekend. Here's the bathroom. So it is a... Sorry, it's small in here. It's a uh, wet bath. Very small. The toilet, it's a flush toilet. And I have this here from the dollar store. That's the first time that's come down. Um, just to put hanging stuff, a little broom. 
Back here I have my little tote, so if I'm at a campground I can just grab this and go to the showers. But I do use this shower when I'm boondocking. There's a skylight in here. Pretty neat. I'm going to have a, a bamboo mat down here just to keep your feet out of the water when you're showering. Then over to the left is the bed. It's a full-size bed. This is a, um, a regular full-size 6-inch mattress topper. It might be 8-inch, but 6-inch, I think. Um, very comfortable. So There's room to the left and to the right. So I do have some bamboo boxes in here. I can keep extra storage of, of books or whatever down in there. Then back there I have a little TV tray. So if I want to sit here and use my computer. Then up to the left is my TV. Um, there was a regular TV, um, electric. So it could only be used when you were using your inverter. And I did have an inverter in here and I never use it anymore. Um, but I bought this TV on Amazon uh, it's a 12 volt, so now I can plug into the 12 volt up there and use it when I'm boondocking. Uh, I have a Roku set up and a little Verizon hotspot, so I can still stream movies in the in the evening. Um, shades here are you can pull these down for it still lets a lot of light in. Then for privacy, you just pull down again, and it's, it's privacy. Up here I have two cabinets where I keep uh, my clothes. I got these little baskets for little things. I got some extra blankets back there. It's quite a bit of room. <coughs> On this side, these baskets fit perfectly. So shorts, shirts. And then back there I have some extra towels and washcloths. Um, I did hook this up. Um, the eight, 2018 doesn't come with any 12-volt um, power back here, so I, set, I hooked this up so I can use USB and 12-volt when I'm back here, charge my phone and, or whatever. Um, the original AC that came in here failed. Um, I bought this after it was a year old. Somebody had it for a year and it, it wasn't working and the owner was nice enough to get it replaced. And that one failed within six months. So I did buy this one and it's been working ever since. So it's nice, it has a remote control. And it gets very cold in here. Underneath here, drawers for miscellaneous ba batteries. Up here I have some uh, bags for the trash can. More electronics and back here I have tools, like a, just a general tools. Get this shelf in here to give me two layers of, of storage. Uh, the remote control for the AC. Now we'll pan around to the kitchen. So this camper has a microwave and a gas stove. So I put this um, TV tray over here, or it's actually, yeah, it's a tray. Um, so when I'm using the stove, just pick this up. I have some Velcro down at the bottom. It sits right there and it doesn't move. So that keeps things from splashing on my bed. sink and here's the power control so monitor your battery fresh water your holding tank black tank this is the um, when you're when you're not connected you, you need to use a water pump to pump water out of your tank uh, there's a hood light and there's actually a fan it does vent out the 
little side of the here. You gotta open up the little door. Down here, pretty good storage. There's a shelf here. Have all my little dishes and coffee. Lots of, lots of cups. <laughs> Here I have my trash can. I did put a little shelf in here for the bags. There's a good, lot of room back there. Water for my coffee. There's drawers. Some silverware. And utensils. And on this side. I have all my cleaning supplies, um, extra toilet paper, extra paper towels, and then down here, down here, I have all of my, there was a light in here, what happened to the light? There it goes, motion sensor light in there, just hooks up right here, that one fell off. I need to replace the batteries. I have a little mini rice cooker, a little mini toaster oven. I'm obsessed with mini appliances. This is a little mini. I use this a lot when I do have power. Okay, down here is the pass through. This is the door that broke off. I was able to fix it. So when I did order the other one from Sunray, I put it over there. Worked out pretty good. But anyways, I still need to figure something out with that. I gotta redo the screws. But this is the pass-through underneath, and I just use this for my dirty clothes basket. And then I'll show you the outside in a minute. But that's the inside. Kitchen. Oh, and I, I uh, installed this just to give extra counter space. This is made by Camco. Bought it on Amazon. It's pretty neat. It was pretty easy to install. It's trickier doing the measurements. You have to use their... their they give you a, uh, a little guide where to put these screws. I think the first time I put them too low and it, 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 was, it wasn't straight, so... It is a little tricky, so you just pull down and close. And then even if I do have this open, I can still get by to get out. So there's the inside. So I didn't show you this on the outside, but I did install this uh, keypad. Um, it was pretty easy. My other one kept hanging up. The the uh, actually got locked in. I had to take it apart to get out. Um, and then I thought I greased it up and put WD-40 on it. And one day I was camping, had it locked, and I couldn't get in. Thankfully, I didn't lock my pass through. And I had to go through my pass the pass through here, pull everything out, and climb through and go through the little pass through. Yeah, that was a trip. So in here is the storage. It goes all the way to the other side. I got baskets in here. I got a uh, my solar panel, um, some wood. All the outdoor stuff goes in here. Lots of room. I'll show you the other side real quick. Uh, before we go to the other side, I'll show you the tires mounted to the bumper. And I did hook up some brackets here. And I have a video on that. Some brackets to, to support the weight of the bumper. Since I am putting a bicycle back here, I've just seen other videos where after time, the welds on those bumpers will give because they're not meant to support that much weight. Sorry, I know this is not a good shot, but this is the back of the camper, or the left side. So there's the AC vent, 
and it's nice because it doesn't protrude out. Basically, it sits in a pan, and the pan, it just, the, the water, the bad thing about it is the water just runs down the side of the wall, so I'm trying to figure something out with that. So there's, this is the exhaust for the heater, uh, the water heater. There's an outside shower. This is the water heater panel. It does have a built-in Furion solar charge controller. And this is a uh, cable. And then this is um, what I have installed to my inverter. So I can turn the inverter on and have a plug outside. And actually what I can do is take my camper plug and plug it into here so that everything will work. Um, it does take a lot of power. I would only do that if I was needing to use the microwave for a minute or something really quick, but I do have the battery power to support that. And there's the other side, and then the water controls. That top, so that's where you fill your water tank, and that's the city water control um, plug. If you go in here, you can see there's plenty of storage. This is where I have my sewer connectors. There's the water tank. I hope you can see it, but it's, I'll have to look up how big it is. I think it's 27 gallons, something like that. Water hoses. This is some oil. Let's throw this out. This is there's a little table under there, so it's plenty of room. The water pump's right there, so I put a piece of plastic there to keep from bumping into it. So I wanted to show you real quick the top, and I'll do another video on this. But up here I installed 200 watt solar panels. Underneath I have that plastic corrugated, um, it's like they call it plastic cardboard underneath to keep the keeper from getting hot on the roof. There's the fantastic vent. Actually, it's a max air fan that I installed. There's the top of the dome. This is the exhaust. I believe for the toilet. And over there, there's a TV antenna. So that's what's up here. So I have the camper in my backyard underneath a carport. It wasn't tall enough, so I had to add these extra, some extra length. But they're one by one breaking, so I gotta figure something else out. But that is a quick tour of my 2018 Sunray 149. And, oh. Let me show you the front. It does it did come with a an electric um, electric tongue riser, whatever you call it. And I did. There was a lot of room back here, just wasted space where the batteries are. So I installed this to cover. I didn't move the battery. I should have. I should have. Uh, took them out and set them in sideways I would have had a lot more room but at least I can just throw my power cords in here um, you know, anything electronic to keep them the hose for my the long hose for my uh, I have a propane generator so this thing can't come with two tank two 20 gallon tanks and with the way I camp you'll never use it all so figured a, a propane generator was much better suited since I didn't want to carry stinky gas. So there's the front. It does have a window. I know some of the newer ones don't have that front window. People have had their windows break. Um, knock on wood. I haven't had any trouble. Alright, thanks for watching.